everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Keith Armour. I'm the Education Homework Support Manager. And today's Lunch and Learn, we are going to talk about reading is a superpower. Um, last spring, there was a children's book week, and they actually have two children's book weeks uh, with this organization. And it is going to be next week, November the 8th through the 14th. So we're going to take a look at their website, look at one that I really enjoyed um, when I was a teacher, and uh, show you some activities that are happening uh, for your child uh, for during Children's Book Week. All right, let's take a look. Usually at this part of Lunch and Learn, I say that we've arrived at our wonderful website, but we have not gone to our website. What we have gone to is the Every Child a Reader dot net website. And this is the organization that supports Children's Book Week in the spring and also this fall. Um, and of course, it's November the 8th through the 14th, but they do a variety of all sorts of things here. And I'm gonna just click on About Us and just read the beginning. Every Child a Reader is an award-winning 501c3 nonprofit organization that celebrates the powerful impact books have on young people through some of the longest running and largest reading outreach programs in the country. We believe introducing children to the magic of reading is heroes work. We support a diverse network of heroes, including educators, caregivers, librarians, and booksellers by connecting book creators with the communities, providing them literacy tools and resources and championing young people's voices. And that's what it's all about during Children's Book Week. And of course, uh, we here at the library would like you to completely embrace this all year round, but there's some great things on this website. So we'll provide a link for you down below in our, on our YouTube channel here, and you can definitely check this website out. Now, of course, they do um, a, a year-round national classroom and library poster campaign here called Get Caught Reading. They do the, uh, the Kids Book Choice Awards here, the National Ambassador for Young People's Literature is here, but we're gonna focus right here on Children's Book Week. And it's a twice annual celebration of children's books and reading established in 1919. It is the longest running national literacy initiative in the country, now celebrating its 102nd anniversary with over 2,000 participating schools, libraries, and bookstores in all 50 states. So we're gonna go right here. Now, there's all sorts of things here that I think are really great to look at uh, and, and get some great materials. Now, if you would like to look at some of the resources for the spring, this past spring, feel free. You can click right here. Um, you can learn a little bit more about Children's Book Week right here. And then this is the part I really wanna show you in just a moment. You can promote Children's Book Week using these media tools. So if you're into social media and you wanna post some stuff, that, that would be a great place. Uh, participate in Superpower Challenge all year long, and then partners. And this is all about the different partners that they have. And if I scroll all the way down, here are all of the wonderful partners that help bring together uh, Children's Book Week for the spring and for the fall. So let me just click on Superpower Challenge. And if you'll notice, um, I don't know if you saw the poster, but I'll have it back up at the end here. Um, this is definitely um, a superpower uh, that we want to um, instill in children that the reading and understanding reading and getting to understand other people is a great way um, just to really, it's just a very important part of everyone's lives. So this is how the challenge works here. And then here's some activities that are also go along with it. So you've got STEM activities here. So let me just click on community engagement. If we click on community engagement, you've got a PDF that you could of course print out um, and you want to, uh, the superpower is a skill, a personal trait or a passion that plays an important role in your life. And so here are some suggested activities 
that you can uh, participate in. It says build a, f a little free library for your yard so that people can grab a book as they walk by. There's a wonderful organization that I'm part of, which is the Literacy Network of Greater Cincinnati. And I will do a future lunch and learn with them and talk about all the great work that they do. But you can also down here, write a short story or poem about being involved in your community. Um, ask for a book recommendation on the theme from a friend, family member, teacher, or librarian. So there's some great activities and there's all bunches of them here. There's also uh, physical fitness and sports. So if you have one of those reluctant readers and uh, but they're really into sports, this would be a great way to get them involved in some activities, uh, to get them out and about, but also look at some books that have to do with some of their great um, sport heroes as well. So this is a great way. Here is um, a superpower book list. So on our librarians here at the library put together great book lists. We'll actually talk about those next week as well. However, um, here are some great book lists that will really help you out as you're going through the program with your child to become a super power reader. And they even have a certificate that you can click here. And after they have participated, you can make up a number for your child and say, hey, you know, let's do 10 activities and then look at this wonderful certificate you will get. And it just is, it's just a fun way to get them involved and keep them involved as well. So that's the superpower challenge. I'm gonna go back one and I'm not gonna click on media tools because really the thing that you want to do is either superpower challenge or doing this fun stuff. If I click here on fun stuff, here is, of course, the superpower challenge that I just talked about, and these are downloadable activity pages. There's an inspiration page, um, it says watch for inspiring superpowers. If I click on this, you'll notice that there's uh, several quotes right here. There's a quote right here, and then there are some other things. And of course, you see all of them here. So check that part out. That's from inspiration. There is the official poster. And this was the poster for 2021. And not only can you print out a poster and there she is with her superpower of reading. And then there's some activities here that go along with the poster as well. And once again, you can print those out. Okay, I'm gonna go back one. And moving over here, you've got the 21, 21 bookmarks. Click here. And not only are they bookmarks, but they also have some activities on how to draw your own superhero. So if I click on this one right here, you'll notice that there are bookmarks. Now I'm going to have to make it a little bit bigger so you can all see it. But look at the great, it says, Children's Book Week, November the 8th through the 14th. Every child, a reader.net. Reading is a superpower. And then you could cut these into or fold them to make them a bookmark. And remember, all printing is free at our public library here in Cincinnati and Hamilton County. And here are all five bookmarks. So if you click right here, you could come in and print all five of them there. And here are the activity paper pages where you're drawing a superhero, doing some puppets, doing some sidekicks, some musical instruments. So you can check those out as well. I'm gonna go back one more. And then drawing characters now, this is how you can kind of trick some of your kids into doing some reading when they don't realize they're reading. You can click here, and this, of course, is a nice fall coloring page. But if I click back and click on here, how to draw a face. And as you print this out and you have these activities, you can say, Oh, let's draw a face. And then you would turn to your child and say, oh, read that for me. And they would say, let's draw a face. And then you read each direction and then you have them read it and then also draw that circle and then add a neck. 
and then see how they make that little line, the little guideline to kind of help them center the face. But you can have them read each one of those directions and they don't even realize they're reading at that time. And here's a little bit more. I'm going to click on this one because this one's going to be sideways. And I do believe this is a, a, yep, an astronaut and how to add an astronaut. And then you could even, instead of adding a face here, you could print out a picture of your child and have your child um, put their face in there after they've drawn the whole outfit for the astronaut. So some really fun activities here and look how many there are. So there's a lot of great activities. I know sometimes it gets rainy on the weekends and you're just trying to find something to keep them active without going to a screen uh, and then playing games. But this is a great thing. Even those children like me that are not great, well, I'm not a child anymore, but I never was a great drawer. This is a great way to kind of get them into drawing without um, it being um, uh, too scary for them, okay? and just say, oh yeah, that looks great. That's all you need to do to encourage your artist and your family. There's 21, uh, uh, 2021 resources here by location. There's some other resources that you can download from home. So if I click here, here's Celebrate at Home on Online, and here are all the different things as well. Now, if you're an educator, they do have an educator kit as well. So you can definitely check that out too. And then here's the hashtag for using social media and getting your pictures and getting their artwork out there and the books that they're reading. I'm gonna go back one. And then there's some resources here, download resources for book creators and publishers. Here is the fall celebration. The educator kit is here. And then they've got a slogan in translation in 12 languages, uh, in 12 language, languages in the fall. And here's also the spring activities as well. So I really think you should check these out. Um, there's just so many things that are on this website. It's just a really cool place uh, to really look at uh, all the wonderful things that are going on. Now, I am going to go to this one right here. It's called Book It. And if you were growing up in the 80s and 90s, or you were going to school during the 80s and 90s, you're gonna become very familiar with Book It because Book It was a great program uh, that was tied in with pizza. And, um, and it is just a really cool program and it is still going on. Um, it's, this is how it works. It's flexible, it's fun, it's totally free and it's available um, always free for schools. Now, there's some activities down here. There's the spooky season. Of course, that just was last week, but then there's Native American Heritage Month here, and then they, they do a little spotlight on a particular book and an author too. They have some uh, signups for teachers and then a parent sign up as well. The thing that I wanna point out are for you homeschoolers, it, of course, if you have a child in, in especially in the elementary grades, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure your teacher is aware that the Book It program's out there because they have Book It at school here and the teacher would need to sign up and enroll here. And the children read, they track it, and then they get an award um, that they can go and take it to Pizza Hut for a personal pan pizza. And when I was teaching, I used Book It as one of the prizes, and it was so easy as a teacher to sign up for the program. And uh, the kids really liked getting those pizza certificates and then going to a Pizza Hut and getting their own personal pan pizza. But the thing that I wanna point out is that they also have Book It for homeschool. And this is um, something new to me, I didn't realize they did it. But if you're homeschooling your child, you can also enroll here. And then you read, you set the goals for your child. You can track it, you can redeem a reward and redeem as well. And you can enroll that for yourself. So if your school doesn't have it 
and you would like your kids to participate, you could sign up for the homeschool program. So you're keeping the kids reading, not just during Children's Book Week, uh, twice a year in the spring and the fall, but all year long. Because the more that they read, the better they're going to be as a student. Now, more than that, they also have Camp Book It, and they have Book It in the community. You want to check that out. If you go right here to Books, I love this feature here. Of course, they have a haunted house story. And remember, just because Halloween's over doesn't mean that you can't go back and read some of that. But they also have a nice little selection of books and by grade level, pre-K all the way to seventh grade. And you can look at the long, long list of different books that they would suggest. And then if you go to resources, you've got teacher recommendations, and then there's that teacher toolbox right here. And the teacher toolbox has all sorts of different printables. And remember, if you're doing this at home, you could also um, do this. It, it actually starts here, back here. You could do the you could do October, November, but it's a little printable calendar. So every time your child reads 15, 20 minutes, you could have them color in a leaf and then decide what they would get after they read that. If you don't want to do that, you can also do these blank monthly reading logs as well. And they even come in Spanish too. So there's some great activities right here, okay? So definitely check that out. I just thought that was really great. Don't forget about Children's Book Week. It's right here, and I'll make sure that you um, have a link there so you can go directly to it for yourself. Now, I'm gonna take us all the way to our event page, and I went ahead and put in the date for tomorrow. Um, now, I do wanna point out with our event page, you have, you have an option to select your days, but you also have an option to select your branch. And don't forget that if you don't see your branch here, you just click on show more and then you see all of our branches. Um, and then if you want to, I'm gonna get rid of that for right now. And then if you're just looking for event types, we can show more and we can see all the different event types that are out there, okay? such as story times and computer technology, adult education, all of that. But if you come down here, you can check out just the age groups, the audiences. So if we're looking at uh, birth to preschool, we can just look at those 471 activities, or we could look at just children and there's 1,013 activities. So if I click on that, Remember, it's going to start with the date that I had right up here. And here's that wonderful I Spy that's happening, still happening over at Miami Township. Uh, there's in-person after-school program pizzas and pages there. You've got um, the homework help is going on at a lot of about eight of our branches now. You've got the Super Ducky Zip Line, and that is an activity that features STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. And then you've got a WOW weekend over at Westwood. And these are just the activities that are happening for children. So to keep them active, to keep them going, you could go to, well, you can't go to the movie night because they've had to cancel that one. But also don't forget we are still providing free meals as well. And that is at participating locations, okay? So I'm going to click out, tell you a few more things, but definitely I hope that you uh, visit this website, which is Every Child a Reader and Children's Book Week. All right. All right. That was Children's Book Week. Remember, it runs all next week from November the 8th all the way until the 14th. Also, all of your libraries here in Cincinnati and Hamilton County and beyond um, will be celebrating Children's Book Week. And we definitely want you to check out that. Also, don't forget about the versatility of our Biblio events calendar. That is our event calendar. And all you have to do is decide the day and then the audience or the type of program that you're looking for, and that will really narrow it down. Uh, we could have even narrowed um, all of those children programs, which was over a thousand, and they go several months out, um, but you can always check out and find an activity that is happening 
uh, not just during Children's Book Week, but all the time. All right, thank you again for joining me for Lunch and Learn. You have a good weekend. Have a good day.